All right, next up, we are closing out our celebration of Earth Month. And today we take a look at students across the globe doing their part to give Mother Nature a fighting chance. Asia Salicino is in Oregon with students on a mission to plant trees. Lots and lots of trees. It's today's Feel Good Friday. In Tigard, Oregon, these teens are spending the weekend getting schooled to save the world. It's all part of a one-day academy with an organization called Plant for the Planet. And we're learning about pollution, how to combat global warming and other climate crises around the world. Their mission is to educate others about the environment and climate change. Reservoirs have been drying up because of the temperature. And so people will either have to drink polluted water or no water at all. I really liked the way that they presented it, where they give you the facts, but then they end it by saying there's lots of ways that you can help and they give you examples. So even though the first part can be a bit depressing, it's easy by the end to be like empowered instead of depressed. Empowered to take action like planting a tree. Scientists say humans have destroyed almost half of the world's trees. And these leafy friends play a big part on our planet. Without them, we wouldn't be able to survive because the air would be full of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas which traps heat around the earth, warming the planet and causing our climate to change. So how does planting trees help combat those issues? Trees are essentially the only machine we currently have that can capture the CO2, this greenhouse gas, and then essentially store the carbon part in the wood and release the oxygen. By planting as many trees as possible, we can capture as much of that carbon as possible. They wouldn't solve the climate crisis, but they would be a, a sort of time joker, giving the governments of the world a bit more time to reduce their carbon emissions. Felix Finkbeiner is the founder of Plant for the Planet. He started the movement in Germany when he planted a tree as a school project in the fourth grade. Several other schools um, joined us and planted their own first trees. From there, lots of schools tried to, to outcompete their neighboring schools, and that's how Plant for the Planet quickly spread through our state first and then through all of Germany. Soon after, the idea took root across the world, gaining support from thousands of kids who wanted to help fight the effects of climate change and deforestation, cutting down huge areas of trees. Isaac Vergun is one of the climate justice ambassadors leading the Tigard Academy. He's planted about 40 trees so far. What are some of the reactions from the students at the academies when they're getting in on the process of actually getting in the dirt and planting a tree? So that's like the most exciting part of the day. They don't like to share the shovel. <laughs> they like to do the whole thing by themselves. It was a little different, you know, I, I've never planted a tree before. It got us closer to earth and closer to nature. This plum tree in Tigard is just one of billions of trees that have already been planted by the organization. But they're not stopping there. The next goal, one trillion trees. And we need someone who needs to make sure that it's straight up. The teens say the activity goes beyond a single plant. It's a cause that unites them with other young people. There's this realization that like you're one step in this process and you're really contributing even more than you realize at the time. For many children and youth around the world, this is going to be a question of survival in our lifetime. And because of that, it's so important that we tackle it. Asia Celestino, Channel One News. Love that, Asia. So cool. Now, if you guys want more info on how to get involved and plant some trees with Plant for the Planet, you can get details on channel1.com. All right, it's time for us to head out. Have a great weekend, and we will see you back here on Monday.